Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I am doing an unboxing of my very first Stitch Fix. Now, I have said before, okay, I've said once, that I went through my closet and I got rid of tons of items that I just don't wear anymore or is no longer my style. And I am looking for some new items, some new classic items, some items that will take me out of my comfort zone. I just want to refresh my wardrobe. And I 90% of the time shop at Lane Bryant. And sometimes their style that they're bringing out in the season is just not my cup of tea. No big deal, it's just not something I wanna wear. So I've looked into these clothing subscription boxes and Stitch Fix is one of them and they do offer plus sizes now. And they go up to size 24. And I thought, why not try that as well? It is a $20 styling fee that they charge you for a box. You can do different types of box plans, I wanna say. You can get it monthly, you can get it quarterly, you can get it every, I think, couple weeks. So you get to decide and you can skip as well. So the $20 styling fee is for a stylist to pick out the clothes that they think that you will like. They will send you five pieces. It can be a combination of all types of clothing as well as accessories. I have put no accessories at this time. I don't want shoes, bags, or jewelry. I just want to refresh my clothing at this moment. Um, so you will see only clothing in my box, hopefully, if they listened. And um, this is a complete surprise. I have no idea what's in it. All right, sorry, sparkle. $20 um, for styling. They send you a box. If you like any of the items in the box, the $20 is deducted from the item that you purchase. If you don't like anything, you send it back and you still have to pay 20 bucks for a styling fee. If you like everything, then they give you a discount plus minus or additionally, they minus the $20 styling fee off of that. All right, so let's get started. And my very first, I have only uh, did the knifing so I didn't have to do it on camera. But here it is. Ooh, it's pretty mint green with the tissue paper. It looks pretty uh, big pile there. And they also give you a return envelope. So any items you don't like, you return. And they give you um, a styling card with a little message, which I will read after because I don't want to peek on any of the items. And then, I don't know what this is. Oh, what you need to know about uh, Stitch Fix because it is my first box. Okay, so we will do that afterwards. So let's dive in to what they styled for me. Ooh, they tissue wrapped that very good. Okay, so the first item on top, I can already tell you, I think is super cute, but they didn't listen to my styling because I said no tank tops. I only wear things with sleeves, but I love the pattern. It's navy with red circles and red is my favorite color as you all know. It has this cute little back detail. It's sheer and has a beautiful silver button. It's super cute. But I would never wear it because it doesn't have sleeves. I will still try it on for you guys and show you even though I don't like my arms showing. I'll do it for you. Okay next item. Ooh, pretty. Pretty green. Ooh, that's beautiful. And it, this part they did listen. I don't do long sleeves but they did a three-quarter sleeve so hopefully that is gorgeous. I love the color on that. 
actually done a better spot to put the clothes I have unwrapped. Okay, right, so it is the middle of summer here and it's 120 degrees and they sent me a gray sweater. Yeah, a gray sweater. Fantastic. All right, two more items. Hopefully they've done a better job. Okay. This looks like it's sleeveless. I have to say I'm disappointed. It's a cute pattern. It's navy. I'm disappointed in that uh, they didn't listen. And then they had these cute gray trousers. These are cute. And um, I don't wear jeans, so they did listen in that aspect. Okay, and they're actually very nice, soft quality. I was gonna look at the. So those aren't actually bad, and the green top is not bad. I am disappointed that they sent sleeveless items. Too bad too, because this would be really cute. Well, both of the sleeveless items would be super cute if they had sleeves. That's my sad face. Hmm. All right. Let's try them on. I sound so excited, don't I? I was so happy when I got my first stitch fix box. I was like, oh, I'm so excited. I can't wait to try them on, see what they styled for me. And now I'm like, I'm sad. This is not what I was expecting. All right, let's try them on. Okay, so here we are in the first outfit. I don't think you can see the pants. I'm gonna have to do a little on the camera. Okay, so once the shirt is on, it does have little capped sleeves, which I did not notice um, when it wasn't on. So maybe the other one will have capped sleeves. Just kidding. <laughs> Obviously the other one does not. It's definitely a tank top. But I have the pants on, and I can tell you right now, which they did not know because I did not put in there, but they don't have pockets. Pants without pockets, pants without pockets for me doesn't work. I need pockets. I'm gonna um, move it down a little bit so you can see. There's the clothes I was just wearing. Okay, we will move that out of the shot. All right, so here's the pants. And I do like the pants. I love the fit. I like that they're gray in color. They fit really good and they're soft. I wish they had pockets. If they had pockets, I would totally get them. But they don't have pockets, so I'm not gonna wear them. If they don't have pockets, I won't wear them. So here's the first outfit. Here's the full outfit. And this is such a cute top. I wish. Well, it does have little cap sleeves. It has little cap sleeves, so I'm gonna put this back up so I can chat a lacka with you. Sorry for the movement. Okay, that's too far up, huh? Okay, so it is nice to know that these have little cap sleeves. So that's a good thing, and it's cute. I like it, I like the navy and the silver together. I like the design right here and then it breaking up with the lace, which I don't normally wear lace, which I think I said in a different video before, but now I'm starting to like lace, I guess. Okay, maybe not. Just because the two items doesn't mean I like it. All right, next uh, shirt. Okay, so here is the shirt that is a tank top. I am not getting this one. I do not do armless. 
So this is what it looks like all the way around. All right, and that's this shirt, which, oh, and it has the see-through in the back. The concept is cute. It's, um, it's that stretchy material, which I don't know what I feel about it. I don't know. Well, obviously I don't like the shirt. I'm not getting the shirt. No arms. But even if it had arms, I'm not sure about the material. I don't even know how to describe it. It's that, that stretchy jersey. Anyways, all right, next shirt. Okay, here is the green. Um, I don't know what material this is. I'm gonna go with like that sheery, blousey material. That's a technical term for you. And it has three, four quarter, three quarter sleeves. It's flowy. And it does a high low in the back, which you can't see because I did an angle the camera down which sorry again I'm gonna do this so you can see it so here it is in the front you can see that it goes in the back to cover the bum which I am NOT a person that you have to cover the bum but it this is a very nice top it's very flowy I love it um, I love the color looks looks cute and while I have this on, I will just try on this very thick gray sweater. If it was winter, this looks like it would be such a gray sweater. I have such a gray sweater. It is gray. Such a great sweater to have. But when it's 110 outside, I just can't see myself in a sweater right now. That's interesting. And the pockets are huge. This is a huge pocket. I love pockets, as you know. All right, so here's the sweater. It's soft. It's soft and it is comfy. Super comfy. I just don't know. And this sweater, like, I'm dying right now with it wearing the three quarter in that. So, that's a, I don't know. Let me bring it back up. So we can have a chat. Sorry about the movement, I know. That's bad me, bad me. My hair is caught on the tag. All right, let's have a chat on how much these items are. I'm not really happy with them at all. Let's be honest, not at all. Okay, so let's see what the stylist said. Since there's items in here I don't like. Okay, so it says, hi Melinda, welcome to Stitch Fix. I'm so happy to help you discover new styles that work for your body type and for your lifestyle. You mentioned that you don't wear jeans, so I sent you the coot from the cloth pants so that you can wear these as the perfect foundation for many different looks. Pair them with the 41 Hathorn top for a chic look that you can wear for many occasions. If you need to add a layer, try the 41 Hathorn cardigan, which it was super cute, but super hot. Okay, cardigan. It's great to keep warm and to cover the arms when necessary. I know that you enjoy color, so I thought the green carry blouse would be a great addition to your wardrobe. It is another versatile piece that you can wear for many occasions. P please feel free to leave feedback on style, cut, pattern, and fit so that we can tailor your fixes to all the style you love. Enjoy your fix, Melinda. Cheers, Chantelle. So, they did read a little bit about me not wearing jeans. Now the pricing. The pricing. Oh, sorry, and with Stitch Fix, they do these little cards that show you how to style with different items, the pieces that they put in your box. Okay, so drum roll for the pricing. Okay, the 41 Hawthorne 
keyhole detail knit top, that's the sleeveless tank top, the red circles, is $54. That's my look of, that's expensive for a tank top. That's even expensive for a Lane Bryant tank top. Cut from the cloth, that's the pants I'm wearing right now, with no pockets, is $88. No, I'm not paying $88 for a pair of pants that don't have pockets. They're super soft, I like the color, I like the fit, no pockets. No $88. Okay, I wouldn't spend 88 anyways. Come on, you all know me. All right. 41 Hawthorne split neck blouse. Green. Oh, the one I'm wearing. Green is $58. Okay. I do like this top out of all of them. $58 seems steep for me. I would probably honestly spend $50 at Lane Bryant for this top, but of course there'd be sales and coupons and discounts, but I do get $20 off. So I'm balking over $8, but it's $8. We know in our budget that $8 can do a lot. The 41 Hawthorne cardigan, so the gray cardigan is $68. I really don't know if that's a good deal or not because I don't know if I have any cardigans. Which I do need a cardigan, but I don't think that's the one for me. Skies are blue, so the knit neckline navy one is $54. And I would expect to pay $35 at Lane Bryant for that type of top. So that also seems quite expensive for me. So overall, it is $322 for this box. Do you think I'm gonna pay that? No. But if I do the whole box, which you may know I'm not because I don't do tank tops and I don't do pants without pockets, it would be 25% off, so you get $80 off. So the total would be $241 for that and then minus the $20 styling fee so the total for the whole box is $221.50. But I'm not buying the whole box. There's, it's not really me. Out of everything out of the whole box, it would probably be this green shirt. I like the color, um, I like the fit. Um, I do wish it was short sleeve instead of three quarter. I am a short sleeve girl, but it's a cute v-neck even though I don't wear v-necks. There's a lot of things I don't wear apparently that I'm finding out about myself. And I liked, I actually did like the navy top once it, I found out I had sleeves. So you know I'm not going to let my $20 go to waste, so which top am I going to get? The green one or the navy one? That's all it comes down to. Those are the only two I liked. It is, oh, they're both the exact same, pr no, are they? No, they're not. The navy one's $54 and this green one's $58. So, gosh, that's expensive. Even with the $20 off, it's gonna be 38 or 34. And then that's the normal price I would pay at Lane Bryant for the navy would be 35. <sighs> Decisions. Do you guys have any comments? I am disappointed in this box. But I guess I will leave extensive feedback for the next one. I think I did quarterly for Stitch Fix. Or did I do month? Maybe I did monthly. I don't know. I might have to go change that too. Kind of disappointed about this one. All right, let me know what you think and if you liked any of them. Let me know if you like the green one or the navy top better. That's so indecisive, but I don't want to just lose my 20 bucks. But which one would I wear? That's what it comes down to. That's my sad face. Sad face. Alright, until next time. Bye everyone. 
Hi, welcome back. I just wanted to say after editing this film, I noticed that I was doing a lot of comparison about price and with Lane Bryant. Now the whole reason I'm doing these boxes is because I don't like what is being offered currently at Lane Bryant. That was my go-to place. I am no more, no more, no longer satisfied with the product that they are um, offering to purchase. So I need to stop and I will stop. The next video you see, I will not compare and I will not be um, against the prices that are given to me. These are really good quality items that they have picked out and a lot of the fabrics are soft and good quality like Nordstrom's. And those are going to be a higher pricing, but they're going to last me longer as well. And that's exactly what I'm looking for. So I need to stop with that. I need to stop about the prices. I need to stop comparing. And I promise you, I will. I am sorry about that. It seemed like a lot of um, that towards the end. And I'm not going to do that anymore. These pieces are good quality. They're worth it and I need to just get over it. All right, until next time, bye.